What's going on everybody? It's Crypto Coffee here. Today's video is going to be about passive income. You know, is it a myth? Is it something that's actually achievable in your life? You know, they say you have to work hard to play hard, but can you really achieve passive income? And more importantly, can you achieve that with the Hex cryptocurrency? Now, there's been a lot of debate about Hex in the crypto community over the past months, really, ever since it was launched in December. It's a very controversial coin, and I'll get into all, all of the reasons why, but really there's only one or two reasons that it boils down to. Uh, but I want to uncover whether or not Hex can actually be used as a perpetual passive income machine, which is kind of the dream, right? We all are in crypto, let's face it, for the money, somewhat. If you're in it for the technology too, congratulations, but Tim, for me, the money came first and the tech came second. So I want to be brutally honest with you, whereas not a lot of people will, right? And we're all looking to crypto as a way to support ourselves financially for, you know, the rest of our, our lives, really. And everybody is really chasing that high off of the very, very few people that got rich on Bitcoin anywhere from 2010 to 2013, right? So even if you bought Bitcoin in 2015, 2016, you still don't really have retirement money. You still don't have enough to live off of for the rest of your life, especially if you did what I did and you tried trading and you lost money in a bunch of shit coins. And I'm starting to see the same thing happen again, which is why I've been really looking for a perpetual kind of passive income thing where I can set it and forget it. Something where I don't have to waste my time trading, waste my time trying to research and pick what complicated new thing is going to blow up and pop and eventually drop, right? Because a lot of these things have uh, have admin keys. A lot of these new DeFi projects that we see coming out, they have flaws. I mean, you saw what happened to Yams. You saw all the people that lost money on Ample. All these shiny objects that are popping up left and right. So in a world of shiny objects, how do you find the one that really is reliable, that's going to give you that security and peace of mind? Well, I want to explore whether or not Hex is going to be that thing. And I'm exploring it for myself. And at the end of the video, you can make that decision for yourself too. I'm not trying to sell this to anybody at all. I'm just saying, well, from my research, I found something pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So on go.hex.com, they just added a new feature called the daily payout per share feature, right? Now, new features are being added all the time to this website, even though you should have no expectations from the profits of others, which is the mantra in Hex, because Hex is not a security. However, that doesn't mean that people aren't working on it. Developers love to build on top of Hex because it's actually a closed system. There's no admin keys and it really just sits there on the Ethereum blockchain. So what's new on the Hex website? Well, if you go to go.hex.com, uh, well, if, first of all, if you're not familiar with the concept of Hex already, it's essentially a staking coin, right? It's a digital certificate of deposit. You put in hex, you stake it for X number of days, let's say a thousand days or 2.7 years, whatever that is. And at the end of that time, you can withdraw it and you make some mathematically calculated interest on it. And there's all kinds of bonuses, like if you stake longer, it pays you more. If you stake bigger quantities, it pays you more. There's all these nuances that, it's, that I'm not going to cover in this video. I just want to cover the staking and the share uh, concept. Now, the share concept is something in Hex that is pretty complicated. But if you're a new user, don't worry, because I'm going to explain it to you in layman's terms. And really, this new feature makes it very explainable in layman's terms. So shares are complicated. And basically, all you need to know is that when you stake your Hex, you actually exchange it for shares, right? And the shares are what gets programmatically is what programmatically dictates how much hex you receive an in interest at the end of your stake term. So the share system is pretty cool and we really only need, need to know what is shown in this graph right here. So pay attention really carefully guys. This is the daily payout per T, per T share and that's 1 trillion shares. Now the, the units of the shares are very high because only a, a set amount of them will ever be created. So the units have to be very high because shares are slowly burned over time. So if you can purchase a trillion shares with your hex by staking it, you'll get this number of hex per day, um, which is shown on this graph here. Now, for example, 
if on day 100, this is day 100 after launch, if I staked a trillion shares worth of hex, I would earn about two hex per trillion shares that day. Now you can see this number slowly on average increases and there's some outliers which we won't get into but it slowly climbs up over time. So if you have a trillion shares on day 250, you're getting about three and a half hex per day, right? And all this stuff accumulates, right? So if you had a stake that opened up on day 100, you were getting two hex that day and then 2.001 hex the next day 2.002 hex the next day and you were slowly getting more and more hex every day as your interest. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, right? But with accumulation over time, it can actually add up. And that's the concept I want to go over really in depth today. So we can see here the average payout per trillion shares per day climbs slowly up every day, which means if you staked at day 100 for a rate of uh, two hex that day, Per trillion shares that doesn't stay constant that goes up tiny amounts every day all the way to the point where today you're earning about three and a half to four hex per day so again this accumulates like the snowball effect guys and you can see all the data down here but i want to really break this down and simplify that for the layman someone that might have heard about hex that doesn't really know a whole lot and you're thinking about getting in what does this all really mean so if we go to the stake page of go.hex.com, we can see here that the current price, and this is a new feature as well, the current share rate is approximately, let's call it 10,000 hex per trillion shares, right? So if I put in 10,000 hex and I get 1 trillion shares, remember guys, from over here, 1 trillion shares for 10,000 hex today is worth about 3.5 hex per day which slowly climbs up, right? So going back here, we've got, if I wanted to buy 1 trillion shares, it would cost me 10,000 hex. So when you stake your hex, you've exchanged them for shares. And the shares don't do anything. They, they don't do anything except for accrue interest. And then upon the expiry of your stake, you can convert those shares back into hex, which you can then sell for a profit. But let's say as a super easy example, we'll round down to 10,000 hex per trillion shares. How much is that going to cost me today? So today, 10,000 hex per trillion shares would cost me $30 approximately in USD, right? I got that from hexinfo.io. We go with 10,000 hex, which is about $30, right? Let's round up. $30 for 10,000 hex. And if I staked all of that hex, that would give me a trillion shares. Today, we're, we're looking at about four hex of a daily payout per trillion shares, which is only a penny, right? Doesn't seem like that much. One penny per day, maybe 1.0001 penny the next day. You know, it slowly incrementally, incrementally accrues. But the beauty of it is the compounding effect, right? So... You know, Albert Einstein said, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. I'm about to show you why that is. So, what I did, going back to hex, go, going back to go.hex.com, I took th approximately three average data points from this line. So, at day one, at day 50, you're getting about one hex per day. At day 100, you're getting about two hex per day. And at day 150, you could see you're getting about two and a half hex per day. So these are very rough um, data points that I then graphed on a chart. So we'll hop over to Wolfram Alpha. And we actually did a regression best fit line with these three data points. So you can see with my best fit line, which I'm fitting onto this, right? Ignoring the outliers and all that. With my best fit line, I'm getting a basically a formula for that slope of y equals 0.015x plus 0.3333. So that's the slope of that line, right? So we're doing a little bit of math. Hopefully you might remember this from, from algebra. But the slope of that line is an important thing to know because really what that is is the sum of... So let's say on day one, I'm getting 
0.015x times 1 plus 0.33 hex that day. But on day, day 365, I'm getting 0.015 times 365 plus 0.33. So from day 1 to day 365, well, there's 364 days in between, right? So, so iterating on that from x equals 1 plus x equals 2 plus x equals 3, etc., all the way up to 365, we plug that into Wolfram Alpha, and just as a little test, a uh, little uh, demo here, we've got the sum from 0.015x plus 0.33 from x equals 1 to x equals 365, which is one year, comes out to our final hex, uh, basically our hex gains of 1,122 hex. So, back to this, we've got 1,122 hex, which would be our reward if we staked, again, 10,000 hex for one year. So a $30 value, stakes for one year, gives us a gain of 1,122 hex, which is only about $3.35, right? So $3.35 on an initial investment of 30 bucks, that's 11.1% interest, right? So that's not bad at all. You know, in the traditional markets, most people would kill for that. But in crypto, that's not that cool, right, guys? 11.1% interest is not the kind of yield that's going to make us rich. So we're doing a little bit of moon math today, and we're going to see what would happen if you actually had the, the strong hands and the attention span to hold this for multiple years and to do what's called a staking ladder, right? So 11.1% interest isn't that cool. But we only staked it for one year. So what if you had a little bit of a longer time horizon? What if you staked it for a thousand days, which is about 2.7 years, right? If you staked it for 2.7 years, you uh, plugging plugging the numbers in to Wolfram Alpha. We'll just plug them in right here. You could see that this gives us a reward of 7,800 hex upon the stake expiration. You can even see the uh, the exponential curve right there, which is representing what I'm talking about. So 7,837 hex as our reward would be a value today at today's prices of $23.38. Now remember, we only put in $30 as our initial investment, but if we held it for 2.7 years, we'd get $23.38 back on top of the $30 we put in, right? So our reward would be 77.9% interest for staking for 2.7 years. Now, I hope you're following me so far because pay attention, it gets really cool. Now let's say we multiply all that by 10 and let's say instead of buying 1 trillion shares, you buy 10 trillion shares and you divide them up into five different years, right? So let's say, say I stake 10 trillion shares every year for the next five years from today's value from today's date. So today's prices, remember how 10, remember how 1 trillion shares was $30? Well, 10 trillion shares would simply be $300 at today's value. So if we do five of those and we stake them out every year, that's five $300 stakes for a total of 1,500 up front. So let's say you put in $1,500 today, you'll be able to stake 10 trillion shares on year one 10 trillion shares on year two, et cetera, up into 10 trillion shares on year five. Now I've crunched the math and did the numbers so you don't have to, but on year one, on year one, your gains are gonna be basically a 10X of what we already talked about. So it's 11,200 hex gained, right? That's a $33 gain, again, on your $300 investment, Again, not that cool, 11.1% interest. Okay, sure, but obviously in crypto, there's, there's bigger gains to be made, right? And that's gonna be able to cash out after year one. So it's gonna become liquid if you decide to end your stake at the appropriate time after 365 days. After year two, we can see this goes up significantly. Our hex gained is 42,000. Our dollar value gain is $126 on our $300 stake for an interest percentage of 42.1. After year three, we get almost 100,000 hex in our uh, gains from interest. We gain, at today's prices, that equals about $278. 
And on top of our $300 initial principal, that's a 92.9% .9 interest payment. So you can see how it's starting to get way better. Now at four years, it starts to really kick in. So we've got 164,000 hex gained for a dollar value at today's prices of $490. And the total interest payment of 263%. Pretty unreal, right? That's 2.6xing your money. And at the fifth year, we've got 2.2, 255,000 hex gained for a value of 758 US dollars, again, at today's prices. So if hex goes up, you also benefit from that, right? And the interest would be 352%. So you're 3.5xing your money on that $300 stake. Now, if we add all these up and we do the sum total, you've cumulatively gained, if you don't sell any of it, you've cumulatively gained 572,000 hex. If you sold all of it at market, if the price was what it was today, every year for the next five years, you would have gained $1,687. And the average of all these interest payments uh, would be 212%. So this means with your initial investment of $1,500, your net gains would have been $1,687. So you would have just over doubled your money, right? And you can only imagine what could happen as we go into year six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is effectively the staking ladder strategy. And this is why the share system clearly indicates uh, you know, exponential returns. Again, assuming demand stays constant or increasing, which it seems likely to do. Now, obviously, this is only if the price of hex stays the same, right? So if you're looking to poke holes in this, of course, this is only if the price of hex stays absolutely the same. All those calculations were done with a uh, pricing of 0.003 cents per hex, which is what the price is today. However, if the demand is equal or increasing, the price of hex will go up on top of your exponential staking rewards, leading to massive untold numbers of profits. I mean, you can only imagine. Now, of course, what if the price of hex, what if the origin address decides to go AWOL and self-destruct its own project and everything decides to go to shit? Well, for all the haters out there that want this to happen so badly, I don't believe it will. I don't believe that anybody would choose to self-destruct their own project. Why, would, why doesn't Bill Gates sell all of his shares on the open market right now? Why doesn't the owner of you know, XYZ cryptocurrency why don't the founders of Ample, who own about 90% of it, just decide to dump it all on the same day? You can make the same argument about every single cryptocurrency in the top 10 or top 100. Go on to Etherscan and look at the top 10 token holders in any cryptocurrency. Chances are they own anywhere from 50 to 90% of the token. So I hear this comment over and over, but, you know. What if the big holders of the coin decide to dump it all at the same time on the same day? Well, not only is this highly irrational and unlikely, you know, why doesn't Satoshi decide to dump all of his coins? Um, and on top of that, the market liquidity can't even support the dump it, the potential dumping of these coins. So there's not enough liquidity in all of these crypto markets to dump the the entire the entirety of the coins right the order books are simply too thin so this argument of why doesn't everybody just dump their price to zero never really made a whole lot of sense to me right just because you can expect nothing from the origin address doesn't mean it is a bad actor we're used to be being made promises right and you know what even worst case scenario hex would still exist because you can't sell the price lower than the lowest ticker so you'd be down on your money if, uh, if again, the origin address decided to go AWOL until the price recovered organically from people buying. Because, hey, you know, at least that nasty origin address wouldn't have all those coins anymore, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to get fixated on this little argument right here, and you're not going to care and focus on what's really important and I'm really trying to get across to you. But I'm talking about exponential growth, and I'm talking about thinking long term. Now, if this works out, and this is a very, very conservative uh, projection, 
It's a very conservative projection. You can over double your money in five years if the price of hex stays constant, right? How cool is that? And if the price of hex goes up at all, which thin order books, bull market coming up, big payday ahead. Again, this also doesn't even come for big payday, which I won't even get into now because if you're a beginner, essentially the big payday is when it becomes a lot more expensive to buy shares in the future. And it's going to be coming up in about 90 days. So I'm making this video now to stress the urgency of getting in and making your stakes now before big payday so you can lock in these great prices and these great returns because they're not going to be this good forever. And every day you wait, the returns potential goes slightly down because as I've demonstrated, the price of a trillion shares will go up every day. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, it made sense to you. I might have messed a few things up, so if you want to pick apart all my moon math in the comments below, feel free to. And if you still think Hex is a scam, well, I, I feel bad for you. Because, hey, with 1500 bucks, you've got pretty much everything to gain and so, so little to lose. Anyway, guys, as always, keep calm, keep hexing, and have a great rest of your day.